making four pillows from a mink stole and a suede jacket. And one has a special pocket. The stole was in beautiful condition and the mink was soft and supple. The suede jacket also had a mink collar and I was given an additional mink collar. So here are the pillows, three of which are mink and one which is suede. I used the original lining from the stole for the backing of this pillow. And this is the special pillow and the customer wanted to be able to hold her pillow, put her hands inside it and give it a big hug. And there it is, there's the special pillow. Each one of the pillows has a suede backing and this is just the suede pillow with the original coat lining as the backing. Okay, let's deconstruct the first stole and the suede jacket. The jacket had a fur collar, so I'm deconstructing the collar here. And it took a little bit of time because it was very tedious work, but it was well worth it because I was able to incorporate them into the pillows. As always, I save any of the closures and I return them back to the customer. I was very careful when I was deconstructing the suede coat because I didn't want to accidentally rip the suede. So I was moving along slowly, taking very special care to make sure that I didn't damage the suede in any way, shape, or form. The lining of this jacket was very pretty. Now on the inside of this jacket, there is an interfacing that was old and dried out and this interfacing just fell all over and I was vacuuming up quite a bit and the interfacing was all along the lapel area as well as near the pocket area as well. Here is an additional fur collar. It's a little bit darker than the rest of the minx, but I will definitely be able to incorporate it in. The pelt was in very, very nice shape. No tears. Uh, in the fur at all. It was very, very nice to work with. Let's clean the suede. Here I'm using a special suede cleaner. 
I'm dipping it in. I'm using a clean cloth. It started out as a beautiful clean cloth. And I'm rubbing the suede and just gently lifting up any of the dirt that's on it. You'll see by the end of this video how dirty the suede actually was. After you finish cleaning the suede, you're going to hang it up. I usually take mine and hang it up overnight. Um, and then I'll just continue what I was doing the following day. You definitely don't want to work with uh, any kind of suede that is wet or any kind of leather that's wet. It's important to note that before you use any suede cleaner, you have to do a test piece first. After the suede is dry, you're going to take a suede brush and you're going to gently move the brush back and forth over the suede. I also used a suede eraser on tough stains and marked areas. After I brush the suede, I use a suede fabric uh, water repellent on the suede. You just mist it on to the fabric. I was having a little trouble with the bottle there. Mist it onto the fabric and you leave it there for five minutes. And then after the, the, uh, the repellent has seeped in to the leather, you just take a, again, a clean towel and you blot it to, re to remove any excess uh, repellent that might be on the suede. And you leave it again for 24 hours to dry. Next step is just to mark out the size of the pillow backing. And then we bring the fur down to the fur machine. And what I'm doing here is I am combining pieces of fur to create the fronts of the uh, pillows. Specifically, I'm working on the pillow where I'm going to have the little pocket. All these little pieces will be combined and then they will be trimmed down to size. They should measure approximately 16 by 16 for a 60 by 16 pillow. Watch my next video on how to make the special pillow with a huggable pocket. Come visit us at dinosquilts.com.